Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zothery Gardens and this is a close-up shot of my Santa Rosa plum. Um, this is a multi-grafted tree. This is a one little branch. I'm here to show you a close-up of its buds. But not only this, it's going to be comparing it to a burgundy plum. It's an ultra dwarf. It's it's a it's a burgundy plum that's grafted onto a very small rootstock. A rootstock that only allowed to grow six to eight feet tall, and that's it. Even without prune pruning, so, supposedly. So I'm doing a close up still, so you guys can keep it in memory. On you know, I mean, like let's say right here, if I can get my finger in there, one, two, three. You know, just in right and four, just in that spot. Now, like I said, uh, the burgundy plum is, many say, that is the most productive plum tree in the world, um, variety of plum tree. And let's go to that little guy, and, and remember the clusters here. Now let's watch this. This was only planted six months ago, and look at the clusters. Look at that. Look at that. How many, how many is that? I, don't, I can't even count. And that's just one spot. Take a look when I back up. Look at this little tree. Look at how many flowers it's gonna have. These are all gonna be white flowers. You see that? How compact they are and, and how tight they are together. Compared to the Santa Rosa plum that had like two or three on each spot, this has what? 10 or 12? So there's definitely something to be said about the burgundy plum. Look how small it is compared to the my multigraft. Oop, it's really bright, I'm sorry. Santa Rosa's right here. This is the limb going out that way. This is a peach plum apricot nectarine. Look how tiny this guy is with all the flowers on it. Isn't that incredible? Alright guys, see you later. Bye.